Hey guys, I wanted to show you a really inexpensive, effective option for hay and feed storage if you don't have a barn. Hey guys, Gary's gonna open up the container. So here's our container. And he's gonna open up this side of it. I'll take you around and show you the other side too. Um, but this side has just two really big doors. So he, op he can open them up and we'll show you how we store our hay in the container. Now this side here is the side we load all the hay in on. I'll kind of give you a look what that looks like. Okay, you guys, so I just thought I would give you a quick look of what our container looks like. So it's a 40 foot container. Okay, so on this side, we have the containers that we keep the feed in, and this is what we're feeding on a daily basis. So we have stable mix, the chicken food, and then Charlie's pig food, and then we just have an extra container there. We keep like some of the California trace and things like that in there, there's some cat food. So this is here on this side. We just, so we have some garden tools that we're using sometimes out here with the animals. So I'll show you here, typically we have a full pallet. Right now we're running low, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just load these few bales of hay that we bought. Gary went and bought 10 bales of hay so we're gonna put that in the container until we can stock up for the season. And what we'll do before we get our big hay delivery is we'll go back and we'll buy, we typically buy it at Tractor Supply, but we'll go buy a pallet of stable mix and a pallet of the chicken feed and just a handful of bags of hog feed for Charlie. And we'll stack that in here before we have the hay delivered. And then we fill the whole back half. So around 20 feet roughly of this container, we fill with hay. So I do want to show you a couple of vents. So let me show you the vents that we had installed. I'll try to get a picture of them on top, but there's a couple of vents for air. So there's two of these and it's perfect. It kind of lets the air flow through. There's a second one I'll show you. It's over on this side. So there's two vents, two vents in the top, and then there's vents that the container itself just has. So you can see that it's got several of those positioned around it. So we just grabbed a few bales of hay. We got 10 bales of hay just to get us by. In our area, we're running low on teft, and that's what we need for the donkeys. So Gary's gonna back the truck up here and we'll get it loaded into the container. So I wanna share this with you guys in case you're buying a property that maybe doesn't already have a barn on it. That's what we did when we purchased this property and we wanted animals really badly. We didn't have the money to put up a really big barn. So we built some smaller barns for our animals. We built the chicken coop and chicken run and things like that, a smaller goat barn. And if we had it to do all over again, I think we would have just purchased containers and utilized containers together to make like a run-in area and shade for the donkeys and storage for the hay. We could have roll-up doors put in it and actually utilize the containers for them at night. So we would have definitely done things a little bit differently. We purchased a tough shed actually and are using that for a barn. And that was pretty expensive compared to the container and we're far happier with the container. So we would have done things a little differently. I wanted to share this with you guys in case you hadn't considered it so you can save money and get what you need. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we're spacing the hay out. So we're leaving space. So we have um, the pallets on the bottom just so that there's some airflow under there. And then we're leaving a good six, eight inches between the bales of hay so that there's plenty of room for airflow because we're really concerned about any type of fire or anything like that. So we definitely don't want to have any trouble. We wanna be able to have plenty of airflow. So I'm so grateful that Gary's home today so that he can get the hay and unload it for me. It's pretty nice. It's super heavy to unload these bales of hay and I just can't do it on my own. I typically will bring in the bags of feed, like when we buy the pallets of feed, I'll unload all that and stack it up nicely in our barn. Well, our storage container that we use as a barn, but the hay is pretty heavy. So Gary's just able to grab it with his hay hooks and get it loaded in here which makes it pretty simple for me. And it's convenient that we have it all in here. It's dry, it's nice and safe from the elements, 
and we enjoy having the storage container quite a bit. So if you're considering a solution for feed storage for your animals, I definitely would encourage you to look into shipping container pricing and having it delivered. You will have to have it modified a bit just to put the vents in. And I'd highly recommend getting a man door put in. So we did have to pay extra for that to have it modified. I was actually gonna get a roll up door put in. I thought that, that would be nice. And the salesman that sold us the shipping container recommended the man door. And I'm really glad he did because it works perfectly. It's super simple to open. We're going in and out of that a couple times a day. And we only have to open the big back doors when we're unloading all of the hay into the container. It's actually not even that bad to open the back doors. They said it was kind of challenging, but it's really not too tough either. So even if you can't afford to have it modified and put the man door in, I would still buy the shipping container for my hay storage solution if I couldn't afford or didn't already have a really big barn. Okay, so one thing you guys are gonna for sure need is the vents. And on top, I'm gonna take you up there and see if you can see those. They're just spinning. So like I said, we had a door cut out and put in it. You can get like a man door put in it or you can get a roll up door. I'm just gonna lock the fence here so that no one can get out. And I'll take you over. So we also keep the extra duck pools in here. Plenty of storage space. So I'll take you around and show you the front. We had a man door put in so that the big doors we open for loading and there's easy access, that's still there, that's perfect. If we wanted to, one thing we considered was having a roll-up door put in. So they'll take it on the side and just cut out an opening and they'll have a roll-up door, like a garage door put in on the side. So we considered that, but we actually didn't do it. We had this man door put in. So we had this man door put in here and this is the door we go in and out every single day super easy to access the feed for the animals just open the door it, you can lock it if you want we don't we don't feel the need to keep ours locked now what we did is we added these battery operated lights we put one on each side of the container and anytime we're out here so anytime we come open these doors the chickens just come running so right now the donkeys are locked up they can't be out on the green grass. I'll show you their grass. Their grass is all just too green right now. This is pretty short. They can come out here at night, but the back field is really tall and too green. So the donkeys are in their dry lot right now. Gary just gave them a little bit of hay that he cleaned up off the ground of the storage shed here, and they're enjoying that. But we've got the birds roaming around, hoping that they can get a little treat. Everybody likes crackers, and every day, at least twice a day, they get some cracker snacks. So they're over here hoping that that's what time it is. So these donkeys are the best donkeys in the entire world. There's Cora on the right. She's so sweet. She's such a good girl. And then Coco, and then Gunner's next. And then that's Mama over here, eating her hay. They are just so good, such good babies. They love to eat, they love their snacks, but they're really sweet babies. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to give you an inexpensive option for feed and hay storage for your animals if you don't have a barn or like a really big setup where you already have something in place. So I just wanted to give you an option. I'm sure there's alternatives out there that could work too, but I love having our storage shed. And if you don't already have a setup, I would encourage you to look into it because you might find it's really cost effective and there's plenty of extra storage. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. That would help us out a lot. Thank you so much.